This is, um, July Midsummer Harvest. Midsummer Harvest for July. Welcome to the Fat Fiber July Sampler Box Preview Video. This month, our theme is, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> You're all... I'm watching you. <laughs> Welcome to the July Fat Fiber Sampler Box. Why are you interrupting me again? <laughs> No. No? No. <laughs> Welcome to the July... Wait. She's got to get her hair ready. So... What was it again? Can it's Midsummer it Harvest. So... Can you... Kind of help me again. Welcome to the July Fat Fiber Sampler Box Preview Video. This month our theme was going to be Farmer's Market, and we changed it up a little bit since we've done Farmer's Market in the past, so this month it is Midsummer Harvest. Our contributor sent in everything from um, fluff, yarn, necklaces, necklaces yeah, earrings, all kinds of really fun, beautiful things. Yeah. Um, and we can't wait to show you. We're so happy that you're here. Thank you for joining us. This is Autumn. If you Hi. didn't see her last month, she's joining us for one more time before she flies away back to Down. Pennsylvania. <laughs> so this is Shiny Briny which would be my mother, <laughs> and um, as you can see, it's, it's actually really fluffy and very soft, and it's got deep purples and light green, a little bit of black, and it looks like this is the peacock Angelina. It's actually really pretty. And this large one is for the super box winner, yes. but they're all big fluffy samples. We love her samples. Yes. And I think she did mini bats this time, like shark nibbles, instead of doing roll eggs. Nice. Purple thing, green, that black. Black. And it's very shiny. Not briny. What do you think? Mm, I like it. Lick it. Yeah. Gloria Patre sent in these beautiful little stitch markers that have kind of a, a glass, almost sea glass looking leaf along with um, fruit at the bottom. And they're kind of a smaller stitch marker. She included buttons with each one and candy. In her Etsy store, you can find the buttons, you can find lots of different stitch markers. She has lots of um, fun variety of notions for um, spinning and knitting. So I think it's really fun. Gloria Patre. Okay. <laughs> and more buttons. Buttons, stitch markers, and candy. The ultimate triple threat from Gloria Patre. Yes. This candy is not for you. Uh, Stacy from Full Circle Artworks and she does hand dyed yarn, handmade buttons and other things like that that I've seen in her shop. And these are some pretty bright colors. This is like a cyan cyan, and this is kind of just a limeish green maybe? No, more of a no. mint green maybe. Well yeah, mint green. This is like a solar flare and this is just kind of a soft gray. No, and these good. are based on illustrations by J.H. Williams III for the new 52 Batwoman, Batwoman Hydrology, Hydrology comic book series. And that's yeah. what her little paper looks like. Kind of fun and it describes each of the colors. And each sample gets all six pieces. So, mm -hmm. alright, these are stitch markers sent in by Catherine at Jaeger and Yarn. And they are fun little fruits and vegetables. Well, actually, I think they're all fruits. But we have little apples and limes and fun different ones. And these are a smaller, um, maybe a size 5 stitch marker. And each individual box would get one of these, but the super box winner gets the whole set. And I thought they were really fun and pretty. And let's see if we can get a little closer on some of those. Ooh, stitch markers. Jaeger and yarn. Yes. Um, a new fatty. This is Jessica at Gypsy Dragon Fibers. And she, the, her samples are these beautiful little Rolex. And each sample has two Rolex in it. These ones are called Glimmer Carrot, which I thought were really fun and sparkly. And Fresh Cut Flowers. And then for these two, she gave us a knitted, a spun and knitted example of the Glimmer Carrot. And a spun and knitted example of the fresh cut flowers. And then Autumn's going to tell you about the other sample that she so, sent in. So this one is Herb Garden, which is kind of glittery. Super dark 
green and glittery oh, and pretty. pretty. And this one is lavender and berries, if I can. Yeah. The purples are so pretty in that. They're kind of dark and kind of light. Yeah. Which makes it fun. With Angelina, and which we love. This is the spun and the knitted. Um, knitted one of the lavender and berries. I love how she shows you how nice that looks knitted up. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Gypsy Dragon Fibers says you can make this with these. This is from Luth Varian Arts and she did a pattern of a chain blanket. You can either crochet it or knit it. Wait, knit, knit or crochet it. I don't know. And um, you can even use your fat fiber or samples if you save up enough and you can kind of just you can make a blanket yeah. out of your samples and in the and other yarn you have around. Yeah, and it's got just little rings that you... It's called a chainmail blanket. So she's chain, She's moved from a jewelry concept into knitting, to, which I think yeah. is really fun. Knit chainmail blanket. Crochet chainmail blanket. Patterns? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. I'm in the stocks. Oh no. I have been knitted to a standstill. Mm. That's pretty cool. This is Heather from the Winemaker Sister, and she sent in these beautiful large stitch markers. These are probably, I would guess that's a 10 or 11 ring, and they're little carrots, which that's I thought were really fun. fun. It's a pretty bright orange, mm -hmm. and then kind of a dark green. And she didn't do them like, the typical carrot shape, like doing the small end down here. Yeah, she, she did, did them the in a fun opposite. little shape. I thought that was kind of cool. So, how many do you get in your sample box? Of you these? get these. You get one in each box, but the super box gets four. Stitch markers. We didn't get flowers and leaves. I mm. thought pineapples. Mm -mm. You're both wrong. Well, are it? Of course. Yes. So this month, Fairy Tale Wool sent these gorgeous Rolex. She actually sent all kinds of different samples. She sent Rolex and bats and all kinds of fun things. A little bit of yarn, a little bit of other stuff. But this is called Ingredients for Ratatouille. And it's Romney, Merino, Silk Noil, and Mohair. And I thought it was a really fun combination of colors. Really beautiful Rolex. So I couldn't resist highlighting this one, but they're all beautiful. Mm -hmm. Fairy tale wool. Ingredients for ratatouille. Hmm. You always think the person that named the ratatouille had a speech impediment or needed to expectorate. Because what they said was ratatouille. So this is from Designs by Tammy and this is one of her necklaces or you can make it a stitch marker if you wanted to. I don't know, I remember there were lots of different um, yeah. necklace charms, earrings, bracelets. Bracelets, yes. Yeah, so there's lots of really for. fun jewelry. And she's the one who can take any photo and put it on um, her stitch markers or jewelry. So any photo yeah. you like, if there's somebody in your family or somebody that you love that you want a photo of them on a necklace. A necklace or an earring or a stitch marker. Yeah. Or bracelet. How cool would that be? I mean, if you have a family member that um, you want to think about that way, I think it would be really cool. But I love this one. Mm -hmm. I like it's very Hawaiian and bikini top and summery and yes. like the little flower in her hair. So very, we were kind of digging adorable. it. The Woolly Lion, Kristen at the Woolly Lion sent us these beautiful little skeins this month. And these are natural dyes. So she did kind of garden dyes. And this one is blueberries with baking soda. And you can see all the colors that she dyed with at facebook.com slash the woolly lion. This is a superwash merino and nylon, and she used 100% natural dyes. So I thought that was really fun. There's lots of different colors she sent in. It was really hard to pick. But for me, I just had never seen blueberries used as a dye. I think it smells like blueberries. I think it does. I don't think it smells like baking soda. No. This is from a star shorn, and this one is star sheep braids wine berries. So this is 50% merino and 50% tussa silk. Yeah, and, and this is super shiny. It's got a lot of fluff to it. 
but it's, it's very soft. Yeah, actually. it's super soft. I think it'd be really fun to see what these little dark parts, how they spin up versus mm -hmm. these beautiful, almost pale, pale pink. There's like yeah. p -p 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 pink in there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a dark purple in there. So yeah. her wine kind berries of like are kind of, almost. it's like you had some beautiful silk and merino and you spilled berries and wine on it. Yes. And that you wonderful. went, oh, wow. And then you started <gasps> Whoa, spinning it. So cool. These little skeins are called salted watermelon and they're from Narwhal Knits. Julie sent us all kinds of these beautiful little skeins and they have soft pastel colors and then you can see they've got some beautiful dark seeds in there of black and dark red and um, a little bit more red over here, a little dark green over here. Put mm. that up close for a sec. Oh, focus. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And this, whoop, whoop, whoop. This is Superwash Merino and Silk. Salted watermelon. Mm. Autumn would put pepper on her watermelon. Ew. You would. Mm. You put pepper on everything. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't put it in my ice cream. Ice cream? We haven't done it yet. Was that the no. fancy way to say ice cream? I, I don't put it in my ice cream. I put it on everything else, including watermelon. But yes. This is not peppered, this is salted. Although it is some black right there. That's a seed. Three! Nice. It's from Fiberk Works, and this one is a song series bat. And this is English Country Garden. And it's 100% fine merino. Yeah, it's so. super soft, and there's all kinds of colors in there. Like you would picture beautifully beautiful English roses and maybe some lavender. Because it's a English Country Garden, so... Yeah. I love the colors in there. There's a little bit of a gray tint behind it. Mm -hmm. like just kinda... It like kind of grayed out by mixing the colors a little more. But they're still there. Mm -hmm. Flavor colors. Really soft. Super soft. And pretty. I just want to eat it up. But that's how I am with fiber. Mm -hmm. Kind of addicted. Hey, when did our music quit? <laughs> Say, are you going to Scarborough Fair? Don't you love when Denny starts singing to you? Parsley, yes. sage, rosemary, and fit it in the bag. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Claire, the hippie homemaker, sent us 100% merino samples that, um, that are completely undyed. So I just thought they were really fun and soft and creamy, and they will go nicely with so many of the other samples if you decided to spin them all together. Love that. Very subtle color. Yeah, because there's none. <laughs> <laughs> it's so subtle it doesn't exist. <laughs> but we love this because we love having neutral backgrounds that we can mix with our other fibers, especially if we're spinning up the whole fat fiber box. It's kind of fun to have some neutrals that you can mix in. Or you can dye this. You can dye it with professional dyes or Kool-Aid dyes. Um, this merino takes Kool-Aid dye just fine. I love it. So if you wanted to experiment with kitchen safe dyes, you could play with this with Kool-Aid dyes. This is Angelica from Shades of Light and she sent in this little... Um, pretty little skein of yarn. Yes, and it's called Peculia. And it's 100% superwash merino. And this, she says the needle size two to three, so I would think like a light fingering weight. Mm -hmm. But I think these would make really fun, bright little socks or something. Or a yeah. shawl. Imagine a shawl in the middle of winter that would be pretty. if you wore all these bright colors. That would be pretty. It would bring midsummer right to you. Yes. And you'd feel warm all the way through. And it's a lot of green. I know. I love this bright, almost limey, bright green along with the olive because I love olive green. Olive green is my favorite green. <laughs> wow, that's a bright one. That is a very beautiful bird. Pekilia! With that superwash merino. <laughs> superwash. I don't know what the design that. was, but I think it's a caterpillar. Hmm. Inch worm, inch worm. I don't know the rest of the song. It's measuring you for clothing, which is not quite what you have on. Laura and Steph at Wild Time Art brought in um, their samples this month, and they are so gorgeous. I was in love with it right from the start. It's called Delphinium, and she's trying to get that 
almost um, this bluish purple that we get in the delphidiums that grow here. They're so beautiful. And I love the way she captured these colors. I think they're fun. This has, as usual, lots of fabulous fibers in it. It has merino, tussa silk, Cory cross, firestar, angelina, and silk noil. So it's got all kinds of fun color. I love the silk noil in this. That's one of my favorite colors, that bright yellow green there. I think she already has this listed in her shop, if I'm not mistaken. So absolutely gorgeous. It would make a good ice cream cone. It's got a lot of colors. Greens and purples. Yep. What else? This will be the blue. Mauve. I don't even know what color mauve is, but I like the word. Um, Any Minecraft sent in, um, how do you? Heirloom carrots. Heirloom carrots, which is 80% superwash merino and 20% wool and nylon. And um, the expected gig. Right. Gauge? Gauge is seven to eight inches per... Stitches per inch. Yeah, stitches per inch. In stockinette. So this is a fingering weight, but she can dye heirloom carrots on any of her bases. So if you know you absolutely love that yarn with cashmere in it, and you want this dyed on it, she can do that. So I just thought it was a really beautiful combination of colors. Kitty Minecraft's our neighbor to the north. She knitted up. This does have a name? Heirloom Carrots. Hmm. Inspired by rainbow carrots. Yeah, pretty cool. Gail from Plum Crazy Fiber Art sent in this one, and it's called Optum, and it's 100% merino stretched to 12 microns. And it doesn't felt. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't felt. And it's really, really soft. And it, these are hand painted by Gail, so she yeah. painted the, the, all these beautiful kind of fall colors. Yeah, a lot of green so in it. So really soft. And I think she sent in different samples. I just chose this one because I was in love with it. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. I'm enamored with how soft Optum is. Plum Crazy Ranch. Plum Crazy Ranch. Plum. <laughs> Plum Crazy Ranch Fiber Art. Optum. <laughs> That's a pretty sample. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you. This month, Gary Lynn sent us a Margaret Grocery tote bag, which I think is really fun. Um, you can do a large or a medium bag. She has all these fun bags that you can do from this pattern, which I thought was really great. So see, Autumn, you can mm -hmm. knit this little wine tote mm -hmm. or these grocery bags from this which same would be pattern. Handy. And yeah. then you're not. Uh, using plastic bags, which can go in the ocean and kill the animals, and it's just not good. This is better than killing the animals. This is a lot better than killing the animals. Use this. <laughs> Market Grocery Tote Bag by Gary Lynn. Mmm, lovely. Tote. You could take it to market. You could knit it and take it to market. Large bag is in parentheses, so you can make different size bags. There are many choices available mm. in this pattern. What do you think? I thought that was wonderful, this beautiful I love patterns. the patterns. Yeah. We didn't mention those before, but I love the patterns. I love the stitch markers. It the makes me want to just go earrings. and start knitting and spinning. And I hope you join us next month. Comments below if you have any questions. We will link shops below and on all of our social media. We have it on our website, fatfiber.com. And we'd love to hear from you. So thank You're you welcome. so much. Thank you. And thank you for joining. Ugh. 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 What was this month's theme? What was it? Mar farmer's Market? No, no, yeah. no, it was not Farmer's Market. Farmer's it was Market going to was, be. Gonna be was Farmer's Market. Something harvest. But they had a heavy rain, so there was no Farmer's Market. Because the harvest was? During? Late? Mm, late. Mid? Mid time. With salted watermelon. Yeah, that's your snack. And inchworms. Inchworms. Thanks, Autumn. Thanks, Dave. We're going to miss her next month. We will. Yeah.